So just a couple of weeks ago, there was some news from Game Freak that might be extremely promising for Pokemon Legends ZA. So I really thought we were going to get a Pokemon present in August because we, for the last couple of years, have had one in August. So I was really, really looking forward and hyped to having like a really good Pokemon Presents where they just gave us a little bit more about Pokemon Legends ZA, but of course we got nothing. We had like a little Nintendo Direct, I think it was the Indie Direct, but nothing about Pokemon. It's been over six months now since we have had the first trailer from Legends ZA and we've had nothing since. I mean, there have been like random leaks online here and there, but I'm not going to talk about the leaks right now. I'm just going to talk about this news directly from Game Freak. Also, if you guys don't mind leaving a like on this video, commenting something down below, like letting me know what you think about Legends ZA and subscribing to the channel. It really helps a lot and I really appreciate it. So according to Game Rant, which is like a news outlet for gaming and stuff like that, they say that Game Freak is hiring a ton of new people right now. So they are reportedly heating up hiring seeking a variety of positions from planners to programmers with high profile games like legend za on the way talks about how game freak started in 1989 which is crazy that game freak is that old that's insane to me obviously they're most well known for pokemon games they made a couple other games that just never really like saw the light of day pokemon just destroyed all their other games pretty much and pretty much every other franchise out there because it's the biggest franchise on the planet like one of their games was 2019 little town hero so you know they're bringing in new staff, that's the gist of that first paragraph there, you know. Don't, it doesn't really matter about what games they've made in the past. Game Freak has kept itself consistently busy as a studio throughout recent years, constantly pushing out major titles nearly every year. Like, yeah, really, we've had a lot of Pokemon games released back to back for years, and now we have had two years in a row with no Pokemon game. That's crazy. Last year, we had the DLC for Scarlet and Violet, which was really fun. I really enjoyed the DLC, but that wasn't a brand new game, of course. Also, apparently Game Freak has another non-Pokemon related game in the works right now called Project Bloom. I guess it's an action adventure with the studio and I've never heard of that. So I guess I'm excited to hear and see more about that as well. So Game Freak is hiring 37 new positions. The full recruitment list features more than 35 different jobs available at Game Freak with everything from planners and 3D artists to R&D programmers included. That's crazy. The hiring drive includes jobs with a wide variety of requirements, looking for both seasoned veterans with years of experience and newcomers potentially hitting at involvement with Pokemon Legends ZA. So I don't know if they've even started Legends ZA. I'm assuming they've probably been on, you know, they probably have started production a while ago, but I'm wondering if like maybe they were pretty far into the game and they were like, wait, maybe fans are not going to like this. Like maybe they had some test trials out there and they're, and maybe they're worried that the game is going to get feedback like it did from Scarlet and Violet. So hiring a lot of new people is a really good thing. Like this is great news. This is amazing news because it confirms that Game Freak cares at least a little bit because I know a lot of people think that Game Freak does not care at all. But this shows that they care and they want Legends ZA to be good and they want the future Pokemon games to be good. Especially since they want these developers that have experience. Like they have requirements that they need for Legends ZA because they want to make this game as good as possible. And I'm okay with waiting as long as, you know, it, I mean, I guess not a super long time. I'm okay with waiting until 2025. And I also do think that this is going to be on the Switch too. I really don't think this will be on the Switch. I really feel like Legends EA is going to be on the Switch too, and I feel like the Switch 2 is definitely coming out next year. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I have no idea when. I could imagine them releasing it early in the year, but I could also imagine them releasing the Switch 2 late in the year. I mean, if this is going to be released on the Switch 1, the current Switch, I really hope that they just fully optimize it, just like Breath of the Wild. Like, that game looks incredible. They could do that with Pokemon. There is no doubt about that. Even though the Switch is super old hardware, and that's why I think this game is actually coming out on the Switch too, because they're going to want to take advantage of the better hardware, make a better Pokemon game and all that. You know, I, I feel like it's coming out on the Switch too. So now here's a list of some of the people that they want to hire. A planner, planner for scenario and setting creation, contract sound planner, Pokemon series development, specifically stated Pokemon, which is really interesting. Character model, effects, background model, cutscenes, section director, lighting artist, human motion. That's a really interesting one to me. I'm pretty sure that's the job like where you're wearing a like a suit like that has a bunch of like dots on it and they get your motions. So maybe they're gonna have better, you know, like NPC movements in a future Pokemon game. Pokemon models, once again, 
stating Pokemon specifically right there. 2D art designer, 2D art designer background. Interesting right there, 2D. What could be 2D? Who knows? 2D artwork designer, Pokemon series development. Once again, stating Pokemon specifically. Project manager, assistant project manager, game programmer, game programmer, communicative system, whatever. I'm just, I'm like not even saying these words right. And then we have a whole bunch of like programmer things right here. I won't even say it all. I'm just going to show it on the screen. We got even more programmers down here, like systems, battle systems, libraries, graphics, tools. Of course, HR and recruitment. That's just for like the business side of things, you know, HR and recruitment. You guys already know what that is. And then an IT help desk, which is kind of funny that they have an IT help desk along this list of like programmers and stuff like that. So this is a lot. Like this is a lot of jobs right here, which I think is extremely exciting because... They probably already have a lot of these people, and I'm wondering if they are firing anybody. I hope they're not firing anybody. Like, I hope they're just bringing on more people to work on this. So, if they already had a lot of these jobs at Game Freak, and they're just adding more, that's really good, because that means more minds, more creative people behind the development of Pokemon Legends ZA. Alright, so there's a little bit more down here at the bottom. The push for new employees at Game Freak comes as the developer is looking to buck several major trends within its biggest upcoming game, Pokemon Legends ZA, what marked the first time in franchise history that Pokemon has gone more than two years without the release of a major new game, Scarlet and Violet 2022. Legends ZA setting is also served as a major surprise to fans, with Game Freak seemingly skipping over the fifth generation's Unova region to focus on Gen 6's Kalos. Legends ZA is expected to launch in 2025. So yeah, I really think that they will get this game out in 2025. I don't think they're going to delay it. I don't think they would want to go three years without a Pokemon game. And it's funny that this website mentions that they're skipping um, Gen 5 because we all thought there was going to be a Generation 5 game coming out because of all the Gen 5 hints. They really, really hinted at Gen 5 in Scarlet and Violet, which is weird, especially with the DLC. I don't know why. Maybe that was just... I think it was like the 10th anniversary of Black and White, if I'm not mistaken i might be wrong on that but i think that might just be why they hinted at black and white a lot the website also states new hires at game freak will look into bring fresh ideas and new faces into an iconic developer likely looking to make a change while scarlet and violet sold well the newest pokemon generation games were panned on launch by fans and critics citing performance issues poor graphics definitely poor graphics the two newest pokemon games currently sit at the lowest ranked main series games among critics with the pokemon's 30 year history that's crazy. Game Freak will look to breathe some fresh life into the franchise soon with 2025 Legends ZA. Fantastic. F great wording by whoever wrote this on Game Rant because that's so true. Legends ZA, like Pokemon Scarlet Violet, I think we're one of, one of, if not the top selling Pokemon games like ever made, but they're the worst performing games. Like they are so laggy. Scarlet and Violet are just so so laggy. I, I could not believe it. But Game Freak cares. They really want Legend ZA to be good, especially since like the last couple years of Pokemon games hasn't been that great for them. I mean, I really liked Legend ZA. I mean, Legends Arceus. Yeah, I wish I was able to play Legend ZA. But why, my main concern with this entire thing is like, why are they hiring now? What happened within the last six months? And especially because in, well, I think it was February, I believe is when they, they announced Legend ZA. It's like, they must have already started production before that, like probably months prior to them revealing Legend ZA's existence. So it's like, why now? Why are they hiring people now? That really makes me think that they were already kind of far in development. I mean, they obviously still had a lot of time left because it's coming out next year, so they still have a lot of time to develop this game, but they probably weren't happy with how it was going, so that's probably why they're hiring a lot of new people, especially just since Scarlet and Violet got, like, wrecked on the critic reviews and even fan reviews. Like, the thing about Scarlet and Violet, though, is they're super fun games. Like, I put in a lot of hours into Scarlet and Violet, I think they're super, super fun games. I love the open world style of a Pokemon game, and I really think that they can master it. I, I'm just extremely curious to see how Legends EA is, just because it's in Lumio City. Like, it's in the city is where the main part of the game is taking place. So, I'm really curious to see how they're doing this, because it seems like they want to switch it up a little bit. Every Pokemon game has been extremely similar for 
25 years. And with Legends Arceus, they switched it up a little bit, like, you know, the, the boss battles and stuff like that with wild Pokemon. Scarlet and Violet, there was no specific order of the gyms. They added the the random enemy. I can't remember the enemy's name, like those random bases. That was a little weird, but they're, they're trying to switch it up. It's super obvious that Game Freak is trying to advance the Pokemon series and just make some changes because it will get stale if we're playing the same exact thing every single year just with different graphics. But that's not me hating on the original Pokemon games. Like, I'm about to beat Pokemon Black and White and it's a fantastic game like i love the original formula of pokemon games but they're making they're trying to make a change they're trying to make a good positive change for the future of the pokemon franchise and legends ea is hopefully going to get some really good treatment because legends arceus was super fun and if they could just make it half as and if they can make it like just a little bit better than legends arceus i think that'd be a great pokemon game honestly so overall i'm just excited to see the next trailer. I have no idea when we'll get another trailer. I would imagine we would get one at the sometime before the end of this year. I can't imagine them not announcing anything within the next couple months about Legend ZA. So I guess we'll see. I'm I'm mainly curious about the the graphics and the the map. Like I I really want to see G, like I really just want to see how the map looks. I want to see how the Pokemon look, how the animation is, and hopefully there's no lag. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.